Centronia welcomes you to Body Defenders, Journey of Making an Egg-Based Flu Vaccine. Helpful Instructions. This video shows the adult journey guide, which could be parents, teachers, babysitters, etc., how to guide young children through this pretend play journey. The instructions in the bar at the bottom of the slides tell the journey guide how to engage the child each step of the way. The texts outside the bar are examples of what the journey guide could say to the child each step of the way. But use your own words and have fun. To view the other English and Spanish YouTube videos in this Body Defender series, go to the following links in English or Spanish. Here's the first section of instructions on how to make an egg-based flu vaccine. Download a PDF of this checklist at the links below in English or Spanish. Here are the rest of the instructions on how to make an egg-based flu vaccine. Here are materials that families can pick up from Centronia. To download a PDF of these checklists, go to the links below in English or Spanish. Here's a list of materials from everyday objects that families can make or gather at home. Journey of Making an Egg-Based Flu Vaccine Hello! It's the Teddy Bears family again. They want to know if there's anything else they can do to help their body defenders. Yes, there is something else. Are there any teddy bear doctors here? Yes? Great. Let's go meet the teddy bears again at the doctor's office. Do you have your doctor hat and doctor coat? Let's put them on. Put on your coats and hats. Do you have your doctor mask and gloves? Let's put them on. Put on your real mask and pretend gloves. Hey, teddy bears. Thank you so much for coming back one more time to see us. How are you feeling today? Lean in to listen to the teddy bear. Oh, good. You're excited about all your healthy habits that keep your bodies well. And you want to know if there's anything else you can do. An excellent question. Let's look at the scientific checklist. Read the checklist. Yay! One really powerful thing you teddy bears can do to stay healthy is get all of your vaccinations. Make the muscle pose. Vaccinations are special shots you get that make your body's immune system really smart about what bad germs to find and destroy. Distribute checklists and pencils. A vaccine trains these special scouts in your white blood cells to know exactly what particular bad germ to go after. Vaccines tell your body exactly what protein coat that germ is wearing. These special scouts are called antibodies. They zip, zip, zip through your body and find the bad germs so the white blood cells can gobble them up. Let's show you how a vaccine works. Pretend the metal paper clips are a particular bad germ, like the flu virus germ. Pretend this bad flu virus has gotten into the teddy bear's body. Now, pretend these plastic paper clips are other microorganisms in your body that mostly do not make you sick. Sprinkle one color metal paper clips on the plate and then sprinkle multicolored plastic paper clips onto the plate. Okay, now pretend this magnet is the white blood cells in your teddy bear's immune system after you've gotten the flu vaccine. Hold up the magnet. Touch the magnet to all the different paper clips. 
Look, your teddy bear's immune system knows exactly which paper clips are the bad flu germs. The white blood cell magnet is only snatching up the flu virus paper clips. Wow, white blood cell magnets are not snatching up the other paper clips. Model picking up the metal paper clips with the magnet, then try to pick up the plastic paper clips with the magnet. Okay, time for the white blood cells to gobble up the flu viruses. Pretend this bowl is the tummy of the white blood cells. Drop the metal paper clips into the bowl. Take that, you bad germs. Get out of here. Bye-bye, flu viruses. Model dumping the bowl of paper clips into the trash. Okay, doctors, do the teddy bears need any vaccinations? Let's look at the vaccination chart. Oh, look, the teddy bear needs a new vaccination for the flu, for influenza. Pass out the vaccination chart. The flu makes you cough and sneeze. It makes your nose runny. Sometimes you get a bad fever and your body aches. Or you might have a headache or a sick tummy. The flu is no fun. Let's go to the laboratory and develop a flu vaccine. Do you have on your super sterile mask and gloves and your lab coat? Okay. Let's read the directions about how to make the flu vaccine. Read the illustrated directions. First, we need to find out from the World Health Organization, the WHO, what the worst flu virus germs are this year. Do you have your telephone? Hello, World Health Organization? It's the teddy bear scientists. We need to make some flu vaccines for the teddy bears. Pass out the telephones. Can you send us the right flu virus samples? They'll be right here. Great, thanks. Okay, the WHO is sending us the flu virus samples from the Southern Hemisphere where it's already winter flu season and they know what particular flu virus is making teddy bears sick. What do we do next? Read the illustrated directions. The instructions say, we need a lot of special chicken eggs to make the vaccine in. Wow, you make flu viruses inside chicken eggs? I did not know that. Okay, cool. Let's call the vaccination egg farmers. It's ringing. Hello, vaccination egg farmers? Yeah, it's the teddy bear scientists. We're making some flu vaccines for the teddy bears and we need a lot of hen's eggs to grow the virus in. The eggs will not hatch to become baby chicks. Dial the phone. Make the ringing sound. Can you send a bunch of eggs right away? Yes? Great. Hang up the phone. Make the sound of the doorbell ringing. Wow, the flu samples and eggs are already here. <laughs> that was fast. Distribute plastic eggs filled with shaving cream. Okay, scientists. Now we need to inject the flu virus specimens into the eggs. Do you have your syringe? Distribute many droppers as syringes. Do you have your flu virus specimen? Pass around a mini cup filled with liquid watercolor number one. Now, very carefully take a little of the flu virus specimen. Model extracting liquid watercolor from the mini cup with the mini dropper. And very gently inject the flu virus into the eggs. Model inserting the mini dropper into the hole in the plastic egg 
and squirting watercolor into the shaving cream. Now, gently, gently put the eggs into the incubation tray. Model putting the plastic egg into an open egg carton. The directions say to incubate the eggs under a heat lamp. Do you have your heat lamp? Distribute the mini flashlights. Heat the eggs with the incubation lamp. Help me count. One day, two days, three days. Model shining the flashlights on the eggs and counting. Wow! The flu viruses are growing inside the eggs. They are replicating. There are now billions of flu viruses in one egg. Model shining the flashlight through the plastic egg. Time to harvest the flu virus from inside the eggs. Okay, scientists, very carefully open up the egg. Model opening the plastic egg. Now, we have to separate the flu virus from the egg matter. Do you have your purifier filters? And we need our purifier strainer tool. Pass out the mini strainers, mini cups, and mini spoons. Now, very carefully scoop out the egg matter into the purifier filter. Scoop the shaving cream out of the plastic egg and into the mini strainer. Now, strain the egg matter through the filter. Use the mini spoon to mush shaving cream through the strainer. Wow! Look at the purified flu viruses on the other side. Model scraping the shaving cream from the bottom of the strainer. Keep straining the flu virus from the egg material. Continue straining and scooping shaving cream until the color is mixed in. Okay, time to kill the flu viruses so they can't make the teddy bear sick. Do you have your chemical killer, your formaldehyde? Distribute hand sanitizer. Very carefully, Apply some chemical killer to the flu viruses. Look, the formaldehyde is killing the flu virus. Wow! Squirt hand sanitizer onto the mini strainers and mini cups. But look, the chemical killer didn't destroy the special messenger, the antigen that shows the antibodies exactly how the teddy bear's white blood cells can find the flu virus germs and destroy them. That is so amazing. It's like the antibodies have superpowers. It's like the magnets and the paper clips, remember? Redemonstrate the magnet picking up only the metal paper clips. Now, we need to mix some super sterile preservative into the flu vaccine so we can bottle it up. Could I have some preservative, please? Model pouring water through the mini strainers into the mini cups. Next, do you have your super sterile vaccination bottle and your laboratory funnel? Pass out the mini funnels and mini bottles. Okay, now gently, gently pour the flu vaccine into the sterile bottles. Model pouring liquid from the mini cup into the bottle using the mini funnel. Finally, scientists, we need to keep the vaccines cold for delivery to the vaccination centers. Do you have your refrigerated transport container? <sighs> Touch ice or a cold pack to the children's hands. Whew! Doctors, are you ready to give the teddy bears their flu vaccines? Do you have your sterilizer swab? Clean off the teddy bear's arm gently, gently. Distribute teddy bears and clean their arms with hand sanitizer on a Q-tip. 
It's okay, teddy bear. You are a very strong teddy bear, and this vaccination will only take a second. Doctors, do you have your vaccination bottle and syringe? Pass out the vaccination bottles and oral syringes. Very carefully, doctors, take one dose of the vaccine out of the bottle. Model filling the oral syringe with the liquid vaccine. Give the teddy bears their flu shots. Model giving the teddy bear the flu shot. Doctors, do you have a Band-Aid? Put it on the teddy bear's arm. Model putting tape or Band-Aid on the teddy bear. Great job, teddy bear. You are a very sturdy teddy bear. Comfort the teddy bear. Oh man, the teddy bears are getting sleepy. Model yawning. Pass out the beds. Do you have your teddy bear bed? And blanket? Could I have a blanket, please? And pillow? Could I have a pillow, please? Pass out the blankets and pillows. Teddy bear, would you like a story? Do we have a book? Pass out the books. Here's a story, teddy bear. Model reading a story to the teddy bear. Time for a lullaby. What's a good sleeping song? Ask the children and sing the song they suggest. For example, we could sing Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star. An excellent suggestion. Count one, two, three, and begin the song. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Sing the song with the children. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Model closing your eyes and saying your goodbyes. Bye-bye, chicken eggs. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, incubation lamp. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, formaldehyde. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, antigen. Bye-bye. Bye-bye antibody. Bye-bye. Bye-bye flu vaccine. Bye-bye. Bye-bye flu virus. Bye-bye. Bye-bye body defenders. Bye-bye. Bye-bye teddy bear doctors. Bye-bye. Bye-bye teddy bear families. Bye-bye. Bye-bye teddy bears. Bye-bye. Open your eyes. <gasps> Are you back at your house? Are you back at your school? Did you help the teddy bears help their body defenders? Ask the children. Yay! Give yourselves a round of applause and a pat on the back. <laughs> Model clapping and patting your back. See you later, super scientists. Centronia gratefully acknowledges funding from the Improving Lives Program of the Inter-American Development Bank. Special thanks to the children, staff, and families of Centronia, and to the production team listed below. Learn more about the Theatrical Journey Project, Introducing Science to Early Learners Through Guided Pretend Play, by going to the link below. Order your copy today of the Theatrical Journey Playbook in English or Spanish.